When the United States declared its independence, it wasn't a, a, a nation fully formed. It took the contributions of many great Americans to make our country what it is today. Here to spotlight those who had the greatest impact on our nation's development is presidential historian Doug Weed, author of All the President's Children. Doug, happy hey, fourth to you. Happy fourth to you. <laughs> so now when we approach Fourth of July, Independence Day, what hmm. thoughts start, start to form in your mind? Well, I, it, well, for one thing, it's fascinating to me and says a lot about us that we celebrate July 4th. We celebrate the day we declared our independence, not the day we got our independence. And you compare that to Bastille Day in France or the holidays they celebrate in Australia and other countries. We could have celebrated the victory at Yorktown, that, that we defeated the British, uh, uh, but nobody gets out of school on that day. We could celebrate the day we had a constitution or when George Washington was inaugurated, which was 13 years after the Declaration of Independence. But we choose to celebrate the day we made a decision. We are free because we said we are. We declared it and said it's so. And that's what we celebrate. And that tells us a lot about ourselves, and I guess it speaks to the power of making decisions, too. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And speaking of making decisions and that power, who do you think uh, are some of the Americans who most impacted our country today and back then? Well, Thomas Jefferson uh, is, uh, you have to think of him today because he, he wrote the Declaration of Independence. There were other Americans involved. John Adams was on the committee and uh, uh, Ben Franklin, who you just had in your studios, was on the <laughs> yes, committee <he's> and uh, <laughs> Roger uh, Sherman. Uh, and Robert Livingston were on the committee, but all of them agreed that the first draft, all they did was tweak it. It was Thomas Jefferson who wrote it, and Thomas Jefferson lives. He's Ron Paul. He's, if Jefferson lived today, he would rail about the Federal Reserve. He wouldn't like that. He'd be appalled by our ongoing wars, our nonstop wars. Jefferson said, the less you use power, the greater it becomes. Uh, compared to uh, Ron Paul said, you sacrifice liberty for security, you lose both. So this sentiment is still in the American bloodstream. It's out there. Uh, maybe if Jefferson were alive today, he wouldn't be elected president. Maybe he would. But he would surely have his own show on Fox News Channel. <laughs> is that right? Is that right? Well, I, I don't know so much that Thomas Jefferson is Ron Paul, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let, let's go here, though. I certainly don't want to commit blasphemy, but as a historian, I'm going to go ahead and ask you this. Is there any um, of our nation's history that you would rewrite if you could? If you could rewrite yes. the history? You. Well, is there we, you made, we made... We made lots of mistakes. Uh, again, our history is, is more revealing of us uh, than, uh, than it is of the facts that happened. Uh, a good example is uh, uh, you get these emails, they go all over. I just got one, it said uh, the men who signed the Declaration of Independence, nine uh, were died or killed during the Revolutionary War, five were captured and tortured. It's bogus. Delete, we delete, like delete. See... Yeah, we got to delete those. <laughs> we like to see the history uh, the way we want to see the history, the way we desire to. And it was a very tough time and a dangerous time, yeah. uh, but a little more complex than we like to see. Doug, really quickly for me, what was your personal memory of your history, your childhood history of Fourth of July is celebrating? What would you like to do? <laughs> Your favorite thing to well, do? Well, like everybody else, I, I it was enjoyed the fireworks, thought it was great, and I love the food. We know <laughs> we know how to live, Americans. <laughs> yes, we know we how do. to celebrate. <laughs> and aren't we uh, fortunate? All right, Doug, we thank you very much. Thank Greg? you, Arthel. Uh -huh. Well, I'm outside.